Also, my power cell is pretty low, but I have a spare. I have to get out to change it, though. I'm gonna drain this one, though. Or at least get it down to below 10% before I mess around with changing it, because I don't have a power cell recharger yet. Purple. Snakes. They don't look unfriendly at all. Got a beacon marking my way out as well as my way in. It's the same beacon. In this cave support the microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Try to anticipate unanticipated threats. What was with that thing around my screen? happening again. No! Maybe that's just the effect for traveling in this weird landscape. Got volcanoes. I don't like all these snakes just slip sliding around. They hide in these mushrooms. They don't seem to care about the uh, seamoth very much. I'm sure they would if I got close enough. Banged my hole earlier. Some kind of peeper. down here. Does this work? Oh, no, it's broken. Water filtration machine? Hot dang. This better be one of one. I don't think I'm gonna find another one. <laughs> yeah! New blueprint acquired. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Integrating new PDA data. All these dangerous wall hangers. Ow. Ultra high capacity tank. Can I just swim out this? No. Okay. I should leave and get some air and come back. I mean, 
maybe park closer to the door. Also modification station. Enhance maneuverability. Manover ability, excuse me. Additional capacity. And uh, this aerogel again. I gotta find some more of that slime stuff. in the sand. Part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, chief. If it were going to crumble the dust, it would have done when I picked it up. It's glowing. First people to come to this planet. People, maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the darn sea monsters, for all we know. One thing's for sure. We ain't gonna find out by staying here. In the water filtration system. Any liquid? Oh my. So those snakes don't like it when you get near their mushrooms, basically, is what I gathered from that log. Pecking order. This place is incredibly purple. Deeper? Integrating new PDA data. I don't think that's possible. This ah is too deep already. Jeez, that hurts. Okay, it comes back. Okay. Just don't cuddle with them too long. this rifle. Near blueprint acquired. There's usually more than one piece of a thing. Oh, take it.
should give the inside a once over again to see if I missed any. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yep, two of three. Also, we found a couple more logs. Pecking order. It's always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes the hierarchy. Pay made a fraction of what I pay you, and you get a fraction of what I pay me. So at the top of the peck. Money makes the hierarchy. Why is Marguerite making the decisions? Love that education. I'm still schooling you. We need her. Let her think what she likes so long as she does what she's told. What if she doesn't? For enough money, she will. People always do. Interesting. Stalker teeth. Incredible just happens. It didn't take us long to run out of enamel. Sure, we can make all the glass we need from the quartz deposits down here, but standard glass won't cut it. In an observatory, it has to withstand the pressure on all sides. So we started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass. We have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only we didn't have enough. That's when Marguerite got real in interested. Didn't expect her to care so much. All the enamel's good for, besides observing animal life, is building vehicles. It's not like we have any plans to go that far. Maybe she just found my interest in the ecosystem here infectious. Anyway, I told her I'd seen some stalkers hunting small fish. How the longer they go without eating, the faster and more aggressive they become. So she listened to me. More than I can say for father. So I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her that they were attracted to metal deposits, they used them to sharpen their teeth, she got real excited and ran out of the room. She came back three hours later with a huge cut on her forearm and a pack full of stalker teeth. Just helping her clean up the wound, I asked her about it. She shrugged and said that they're mostly harmless with a full belly. She's incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers and made out like it was nothing at all. On one hand, that is the most uh, tough thing I've ever heard. And now that I'm sitting in this observatory recording the behavior of the biters tapping harmlessly against the glass, on the other, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. What's the point of surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it wonderful? She knew more about these animals, so father won't let me get up close. Maybe all the glass will build a containment unit to house them. Deeper? We're already 200 meters below sea level, and you want to go deeper? Look around us, chief. See water leaking through the hole, water outside the hatch? We're drowning. Real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shut us down is going to do it again, and again, until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, chief? Why would it be anywhere likely to be a half a kilometer down? Your kid found some weird readings. There's something down there that shouldn't be. You're mad. That may be, but I'm going all the same. And I have an idea, or you two are going to follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. You know what Maida told me yesterday? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. She needs Bart and I to do it. She got it into her head that she could save us if she act just acts recklessly enough. I've all the star walls to Neptune, Plastil to the Federation. This family operates nine different mining colonies across the Aerodyne Arm. Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal, and Maida is useful to me. So it's my responsibility to make a decision. Turn to the island, and hope for whatever's locked. The, and knock the de Degasi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. She gets deeper in search of answers. And all the while, hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium here to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a darn 